Big data is a big deal these days. But what exactly is big data? Researchers describe big data as comprising four components, the four V's, volume, variety, velocity, and veracity. The first V is volume, and it is indeed big. For statisticians of old, having a large volume of data was a holy grail, enabling them to avoid the countless adjustments and disclaimers resulting from not having enough data. So, yesterday you responded to that what I wish for hashtag on Twitter, wishing for a pomegranate chocolate bar. And a few dozen of your followers retweeted the message. If a candy bar company like Mars had access to this data, they might not immediately rush out and create a new pomegranate chocolate candy bar. Small samples, such as you and your dozen followers, can be notoriously and statistically misleading. However, if tens of thousands of people retweeted your candy bar wish, now you might get Mars's attention and they might start working on that new bar. The volume of big data enables us to much more confidently draw conclusions and identify patterns. The second V of big data is variety. Data is being collected and stored in many ways. So yesterday, in addition to tweeting that you were really hungry for a pomegranate chocolate bar, you also search for the location of the nearest convenience store that might carry candy bars. You purchased a bar at the store, unfortunately not pomegranate chocolate. You posted a picture on Facebook of you eating the bar, and you received feedback from your wireless health monitor that your blood sugar level spiked five minutes after you ate it. Each of these data is stored in a different location, and in general, there's no way to connect them all back to you and what you did yesterday. But what if there was? What opportunities might that open up? Each piece of data contains a different piece of information about you. This variety can be useful if someone is able to connect it all back to you and use it to understand more about you. The third V of big data is velocity. Data that is being collected is immediately accessible. So you tweeted that you were hungry for a pomegranate chocolate bar? That data was immediately available to whoever had access to it. What could Twitter do with that data? Perhaps make it available to a convenience store chain? If so, what if the convenience store chain instantly knew that you had tweeted that you wanted a chocolate bar? Perhaps they immediately send you an ad with directions to the nearest store. To do this, of course, they would have to know where you are, which they could if you were sharing your current location and the convenience store chain had access to that data as well. Velocity enables us to react quickly enough to make a difference. The final V of big data is veracity. The problem with data is that it may or may not be accurate, whether due to human or machine error. But what if the same information was being entered as data multiple times and in multiple different ways? So yesterday you managed to eat enough chocolate to end up in the hospital. Your blood type, AB, was misentered as type A, a potentially devastating mistake. But your blood type has been entered as data many times before. And the hospital yesterday had access to that collection of data from different sources and immediately knew that it had just been entered as A. This triggered them to immediately question the veracity of the recent incorrect entry, possibly preventing a catastrophe. So, these are the four V's of big data. Although we might think suspiciously about how big companies might use big data to manipulate us into buying more stuff, they can also use this data to offer us lower prices through improved productivity, such as not wasting money on ineffective advertising or not making products in advance of knowing demand. And don't forget the blood example. Far too many mistakes occur because people simply don't have the information they need when they need it. The four components of big data can work together to avoid these kinds of errors or missed opportunities.